Today, we're talking about the shift factors of the short run aggregate supply curve. We have previously discussed the positive slope of the aggregate supply curve and the factors that cause us to move along the aggregate supply curve, also known as changes in the quantity supplied. Now we're interested in what causes aggregate supply curve to shift entirely at every price level, known as changes in the short run aggregate supply. We're interested in increases in production when holding prices constant. The first shift factor is a change in resource prices. So here we're looking at a change in one price in the economy and not all overall prices. The price level in the economy is unchanged, but resource prices um, can adjust. If resource prices are cheaper, it will lead to an increase of our production ability. Our aggregate supply curve, our short run aggregate supply curve, will, is going to shift to the right. Alternatively, increases in the price of resources will make production more costly, reducing production. This is represented by a shift in the aggregate supply curve to the left. The next shift factor is expectation of future price levels. If workers and firms expect higher prices in the future, they will start to negotiate for higher wages today. And that causes a reduction in the short run aggregate supply curve as production becomes more costly. Expecting higher future prices causes a shift today. The short run aggregate supply curve is going to shift to the left to reflect the higher cost. Expectation of lower price levels allows firms to negotiate lower contracts today reducing their cost of production and increases the short run aggregate supply curve. Finally, supply shocks are surprise events that change your firm's production costs and unexpected increase in the cost of production. It will lead to a reduction in output and a decrease in the short run aggregate supply curve. The shift factors that shift the short run aggregate supply curve are cost of resources, expectations of future prices, and supply shocks. We have introduced the aggregate demand curve, the short run aggregate supply curve. We have one more curve to talk about, and that's the long run aggregate supply curve. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video.